Hey, KB, I'll ask you what I asked Roger. What, what was kind of the feeling from the, the last team meeting and what what's kind of the overall feeling as you guys pack up and leave today? Yeah, I think everybody's still pretty disappointed and sick about yesterday. Obviously, uh, you don't really plan for days like this, you know, packing up your lockers, kind of almost saying your final goodbyes to a lot of guys that you're not really sure and that's going to be back here next year. Um, I'm not really a goodbye person, honestly. Uh, I really hate saying goodbye to anybody. I'm always like a see you later type deal. But, you know, you don't really honestly know. You're pretty much, you could be having, you know, your last conversation with some of these guys that you may ever have. So uh, it's, it's a bad feeling for sure. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's still a little bit of moment of reflection. Uh, thinking about the kind of year we had. I mean, we had a lot of challenges this year. We became a team. Uh, we dealt with some COVID issues. Um, we dealt with some social justice stuff and guys trying to promote change around the world. Um, so definitely proud of the guys for that. But like I said, it's, it's definitely uh, it's not a good day in the NFL right now when you have to uh, when you're getting past uh, trash bags and boxes to pack up your locker. So it's not a good day right now. Uh, John Glenn. Hey, Kevin, I uh, wonder if, if looking forward, uh, do you think that the potential uh, addition of a defensive coordinator or, or I guess even naming of a defensive coordinator, would that be something that would be helpful uh, given given the struggles that went on this year with the defense? You know, John, I don't, I don't make those decisions. Uh, that's up for Mike Vrabel and John or whoever. You know, I just try to focus on or I try to focus on the things that I control and whatever's being called, trying to execute it to the best of my abilities. Uh, and that's, that's really, when it comes to that type of stuff, like I don't think that we played up to the level of expectation that I know we're capable of. Um, the standard that we have, not only in our DB room, but as an entire defense, we didn't live up to that standard. And for me personally, as a leader, going into this off season, that's gonna be my number one priority is making sure that I come back and try to find a way to be a better leader, um, to make sure that when we do come back, that the standard is being set and that we live up to the expectations every single day, whether if it's in the meeting room, um, in walkthroughs, in practice, and holding guys accountable, holding guys to a higher standard and getting our uh, core group of guys together, getting us all on the same page to where as though we can all make sure that we're all holding each other accountable. I think that's something that I could be uh, better on this next year. And it's something that I'm going to be looking forward to uh, improving because I this year was a lot of growth for, for me um, personally and also as a player. So um, that's going to be one of the main goals that I'm going to have uh, this offseason. Thanks. Uh, Gentry? Yeah, Kevin, you know, we've heard a lot about the communication, guys being on the same page. As you look back, what do you think it was that that prevented the defense from 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 being on the same page and uh, over the course of the year? I mean, we obviously had a lot of changes uh, on our defense. You know, some guys got hurt, you know, as the year went on from from game one to, you know, all the way till yesterday, our roster or defense looked a lot different. And um, not to make any of you know, those things or any excuses or anything like that, but at the same time, um, we just had to play the, the, the cards that were dealt. And I think, like I said, me personally, as, as, a, as a leader on this team, I had to find ways to make sure that we're all on the same page, regardless of who's making what plays are being called or whatever. We all had to try to execute the defense to the best of our abilities. And I think at times we didn't. Um, we, we did do some good stuff as a defense. We made plays when we needed to make plays to win certain games, but it just wasn't consistent enough at all. And um, I think that's going to be something that we're going to have to try to strive for uh, to be consistently better next year. I mean, we obviously know that the defense is going to look a lot different next year. And that's just the way the business of the NFL works. And uh, for the new guys going to come in here and for the guys that's going to be here, that's, that's here right now, um, the, the standard has to be a lot higher and the expectations need to be a lot higher uh, going into next season. Uh, Teresa? Kevin, to follow up on that, uh, even with the improvement needed on defense, does it feel overall, though, for this franchise that that standard is high, that you all know that coming into next year, the, the expectation is to try to win the division, try to get to a Super Bowl? And it doesn't feel like it's rebuilding, I guess, at this point. It's more continuing and maintaining. Oh, it's definitely not a rebuild. Uh, just like you said, the standard is definitely there. The standards to win the Super Bowl, win the division, and host, host and playoff games, 
that's always going to be the standard uh, as far as as a team. I, absolutely. Uh, I think this year we've we've we accomplished a lot. You like you said, we won we won eleven games. I never won eleven games before in the NFL. Um, hosted a playoff game, won a division. Uh, those are definitely things to look back on and be proud of. Obviously, not really having you know a ton of time to you know evaluate the whole year in in total. Uh, it was some good things. I'm definitely proud of the guys and how we handled uh, the COVID protocols and with the outbreak that we had early in the year, you know, not having a bye week for like 14, having many weeks straight, uh, dealing with, you know, we had a lot of guys dealing with injuries throughout the throughout the weeks, throughout the year uh, that fought their tails off every single game. Uh, guys fought hard. Um, I mean, I'm absolutely proud and happy for the, for the group of guys that we have, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we fell short of our, our main goal, which is winning the Super Bowl. So um, we have to, you know, reevaluate everything going to this offseason and try to figure out how can we actually get to that game and go win it all. And that's going to be something that will be uh, marinating on uh, throughout this offseason. Uh, Paul? Kevin, um, looking for a bit of personal reflection, I guess you're talking about uh, hoping to come back and make sure everybody's all on the same page, all playing to the same standard. Where do you think you were with regard to being on the same page this year? Where do you think you were with regard to playing to that standard this season? Yeah, I absolutely feel like, you know, even though, you know, I led the team in tackles, I don't feel like I played up to my my level, my my standard. Uh, I'm, you know, obviously the ball didn't find, I didn't find the ball as much this year. Um, and that, that was a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, I just know for me personally and my personal standard, uh, I could play a lot better. Uh, and I want to make sure that coming into next year during in the off season, working on myself, working on my body, uh, working on everything that I'm working on my mind, working on my spirit to make sure that, you know, I can have that high, extremely high level of play that I'm, I'm accustomed to doing, leading the team in tackles, leading the team in intercepts, doing everything possible to win ball games. You know, and that, that just, I feel like that's that's what I get paid to do, and that's and, and that's the type of player that I am. I'm always going to be harder on myself than anybody will ever be hard on me. So uh, I take everything personal, and so you know, next year that's going to be my main goal: trying to play to the the, the highest standard uh, that I could possibly play at. Uh, Chris Harris, hey, KB, kind of talking about those standards just for you and and the team with as much talk as there was this year about the defensive deficiencies and you know the third down percentage being the worst and all of that stuff. How much does that burn you or you're going to let it burn you through this offseason going into next season, trying to erase uh, what people have kind of tagged you guys with? Yeah, it's going to it's something I'm going to be marinating on a lot in this offseason. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the, the numbers are what they are. The stats are what they are. We didn't play very well on defense this year. You know, we played good at times but it wasn't consistent enough and we're bottom of the league in a lot of different categories. So, uh, yeah, it's frustrating. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a competitor at the highest level. Uh, I want to be the best. Uh, I want to be able to, and obviously it's, it's about the numbers, but at the same time, it's about the feeling, the knowing that, you know, we're the, the best in the league. And I feel like we have the, we have the guys. And obviously, like I said before, you know, the defense is not going to look the same next year, but I just have a burning desire to want to be the best. And I think that that's going to be the my whole entire everything that I do in this offseason, uh, training wise, uh, working on my mental, working on everything is trying to be the best. And uh, that's the standard. I think that's going to have to be the expectation to be the best. Uh, Terry. Uh, KB, even though he didn't have the title of defensive coordinator, how much do you feel like Shane Bowen grew uh, over the course of the year as far as? running meetings, play calls, and, and formulating game plans. Yeah, I mean, I remember when Shane first came in here, when Vrabel and him came, he was just the outside linebackers coach. And to see uh, the growth that he's uh, had this year, um, like you said, make, doing the play calls, running meetings. Uh, I'm pretty sure, and I know he's he learned a lot from Dean. Uh, we've had meetings together uh, just talking about different stuff of, you know, type, type of defenses that we're going to run. Uh, had a little input in that, so that was pretty cool. Um but yeah, I think he did a great job. Uh, obviously, us as a defense, as a total, we we didn't play up to the standard. We didn't, you know, put up the numbers that we feel like we should have did. But at the same time, I do feel like he grew a lot this year, just like all of us. Uh, Luke, 
Byard, yeah, or Kevin, excuse me, some, you and several others talked about uh, uh, communication throughout the season, starting early on and then throughout. Did you feel like that was improving throughout the season? Was there a point where it sort of stagnated and, and stopped growing in terms of you all being able to get on the same page and communicate with Shane? Uh, I mean, I, I think the communication was good at times throughout the year. It just wasn't – it just never got to the point where – where I feel like it needed to be. And I don't feel like where we all feel like it needed to be. Obviously we do some good things, but it's not good enough consistently. Um, and that's what we're judged on. It's, it, you know, it's wins and losses. You know, it's, it's about, did you do good or did you not do good? It's not about being good at times. You gotta be consistently good. And I think that the communication just wasn't consistently good enough for the entire year um, for me to go into the off season to, to really feel good about it, you know? Um, and I think that's going to have to be we're all going to have to be burning inside of us this offseason to make sure that everything is from you know all phases or defense is, is better next year. If we want to um, give ourselves the opportunity, a chance to actually play for a Super Bowl. So um, I think we all just had to you know take a hard look at ourselves in the mirror uh, this offseason, kind of get away from the game. Um, but, you know, had that burning desire to want to be the best at everything that we do next year. Three more. Um, Buck. Yeah, Kevin, I mean, you you personally and, and your defense since you've been here, it, you guys haven't had many down years like this. Can, can it almost be a good thing to kind of be able to have something like that that kind of resets you and, and allows you to grow from it as a result moving forward? I mean, it's kind of hard to say that right now. Obviously, I do feel like just this year uh, I grew a lot. You know, I dealt with a lot off the field, you know, uh, I'm going to take this off season to really uh, be around my kids, um, be around my wife, uh, you know, dealing with all the protocols and stuff like that. I've, I've grown a lot, not only as a player, but as, as a leader, um, as a husband, uh, as a father. So it's definitely has been a year of growth. Uh, so I'm going to take everything that I learned this year and that I'm going to learn this off season and implement it into next year and to be a better leader, uh, to be a better player and everything that I could possibly do and just pour my heart into everything that I could possibly to try to to make us to be the best, and uh, that's the only thing that's really going to be in mind to to be the best. And I really feel like we have the potential to do that. We just have to go out there and, uh, like I said, hold ourselves to a high standard and hold everybody accountable to live up to that standard. Uh, Joe, retro. Yeah, uh, Kevin, kind of circling back on Shane. I'm just wondering, did you guys kind of view him as the D coordinator, even though he didn't necessarily have the title this year? And do you think it's important that there's someone that has that title moving forward with this defense? I mean, he, he was he was obviously the play caller. I mean, he ran all the meetings and um, ran the walkthroughs. So, I mean, just because he didn't have a title, I mean, technically he was a D coordinator. Um, so, I mean, like I said, I mean, I don't – I don't. I feel like he was a D coordinator, so I can't necessarily say that it wasn't important that we didn't have a D coordinator or not because he pretty much took on the role – that Dean took on as far as around us, at least I'm not sure about, you know, meetings with coaches and staff meetings and stuff like that. But as far as what we seen, he was pretty much defensive coordinator this year. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's important that he has the title or not or whatever, but I mean, like I said, man, I focus on what I can control. I focus on studying as much film as I possibly can. Uh, the, the plays and the notes and the details of every call that we get, I study that to the best of my ability and try to go out there and execute it on Sundays. And that's my job as a football player. It's not my job to, you know, talk about what we should be calling or what we shouldn't be calling. My job is to go out there and execute what's, what's being called. So that's the only thing I try to focus on. Uh, last one, Steve Lehman. Hey, KB, appreciate everything you do and all the time you give us throughout the course of the season. When you talk about your personal standard and, and maybe not having your best personal season how much more were you asked to do this year whether it be you know yourself within the scheme or trying to get other people where they need to be within the scheme and do you feel like you pressed it all with all those responsibilities and trying to live up to that standard I mean I don't I mean I don't necessarily know that I, that I pressed at all anything this year uh think especially earlier in the year um I kind of took a lot of on for the defense, just personally, just just mentally, uh, not necessarily pressing, but feeling like obviously I need to make more plays to give our defense some energy, give our defense some juice. Um, 
and I always feel like I go into every single game when I when I lay my you know head on the pillow at night before the games. I always think about going out there trying to make as many plays to help the defense out. And uh, you know, I used to have my old safety coach to always tell me like when you press, that's when you start to make mistakes. And um, I always think that you know if you go out there and just try to do your job and, and try to handle everything that you can handle the best that you can, you know, plays will happen. And like I said, I felt like I made some plays this year. Don't get me wrong. Uh, this wasn't my best statistical year as far as, you know, ball production. But like I said, I did lead the team in tackles. Uh, I feel like as a leader, I grew a lot. And But at the end of the day, you know, it just wasn't good enough. You know, that's just the bottom line. Uh, I can always be better. I can try to be better. But uh, like I said, as, as the maturation uh, process continue to happen for me as, as a football player, uh, I will grow from this year. Uh, I think us as a team will grow from this year and we'll be better. We'll be better for it. So and that's just, that's just going to be, you know, like I said, my main goal is off season continue to grow as a player, grow as a person, uh, grow spiritually, grow mentally, physically um, and try to have, you know, the best year of my career next year and put it all together.